Jay Cutler signs with the Miami Dolphins. This report comes from Roy Parks of Pro Football Rumors. Jay Cutler will come out of retirement and sign a one-year deal with the Miami Dolphins, per ESPN's Adam Scheffner. Scheffner tweets that Cutler will earn $10 million plus incentives in 2017, and Jay Glazer of Fox Sports tweets that the incentives could raise the total value of the contract to $13 million. Ian Rappaport of NFL.com was the first to tweet that Cutler was leaning towards returning to the field. Rappaport also tweeted that Cutler would not return unless Ryan Tannehill was expected to miss a significant amount of time, so this move essentially confirms that Tannehill will need surgery, as Mike Garofalo of NFL.com suggests. We heard earlier this morning that the Dolphins brass expected a resolution to the Cutler fl- flirtation as soon as today, and that turned out to be the case. The 34-year-old Cutler, who retired from football in May after receiving limited interest as a free agent, has a good relationship with Gase from their time in Chicago in 2015. When the Bears' offensive coordinator, Gase helped Cutler to one of his best seasons in which he completed 64% of his passes, averaged 7 yards a throw, and threw threw 21 touchdowns against 11 interceptions. Whether you're a fan of Jay Cutler, obviously the way the media has portrayed him um, as this, you know, pouty quarterback that really doesn't take the football, the game seriously, I I don't believe him. I actually trust what Adam Gase says. Adam Gase says he's a fiery competitor, um, and I don't. Adam Gase has never lied to us before. He's one of the most candid coaches in the NFL. He tells the fan, the fans straight up. I mean, he even told us in the press conference that he was talking to Jay Cutler. No NFL coach would would do that, uh, other than Adam Gase. He's a very truthful man. So I trust what Adam Gase says. Um, in terms of a football, in terms of a football standpoint, I think Jay Cutler uh, is one of the best. Uh, he has one of the best arms in the NFL. He's got he's one of the most accurate throwers down the field. I think this is by far his most talented team that he's ever been on. When you consider the receivers that he's going to be playing with, with Devontae Parker, with Kenny Stills, um, and with Juice Landry. This man threw 30 touchdowns with receivers like Kevin Knox and Devin Hester. That was before Brandon Marshall got on the football team. This is so this 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 team is way more talented. Um, than any of his teams that he had in Chicago, I believe. He's a really good red zone quarterback. His red zone numbers are above average. Um, and I think, again, I think he's going to be able to stretch the field with Adam Gase. Obviously, Adam Gase gave him one of his best season so he's going to come in um he knows the playbook well he he you know he obviously played in it for an entire year so he's already had that off season so um he's just got to build the chemistry with the team and i think this offense is going to look really good in 2017 with jay cutler throwing the ball i mean he was a franchise quarterback under adam gase in chicago now he has a way better football team than he had that year under adam gase and he threw for 21 touchdowns that season um i would expect even greater results um, this upcoming season with the football team that we're going to have surrounding him. Interestingly enough, the Miami Dolphins have a rich history when it comes to backup quarterbacks. Obviously, when Bob Greasy broke his leg and Earl Merle had to step up and then led us to the Super Bowl. And then obviously, when the most recent one, when Tannehill went down and Matt Moore stepped up and then led us to the playoffs. So the Dolphins have an interesting, weird, quirky history when it comes to backup quarterbacks. It always works out for us. And I I think what people need to remember is who's coaching this football team. Um, If Adam Gase puts his faith into Jay Cutler, and of all people, if Adam Gaze calls Jay Cutler a franchise quarterback, which he has in the past, then that's enough for me. I think Adam Gase has proven himself as the Miami Dolphins head coach so far. I have no reason to doubt the man. I think he's. I think he knows what he's doing. Obviously, Jay Cutler, when you look at his tape, when he was under Jay, uh, Adam Gase, he looked amazing. So, he's got a super talented team in Miami. And in Adam Gase, we trust. I am Skaggs1383. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I know most of the fans on this channel hate Jay Cutler, uh, but I'm I'm interested to see what you guys think. Um, predict his stats down in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think he's going to throw for this upcoming season. And I am Skaggs1383, and I'll see you guys in the next one.